Hi everyone, my name is Omya Paul. I am a student of IB Professional School studying Data Science and Analytics. I have the dreams of having a great career ahead in the field of Data Science and Analytics by understanding the various tools and techniques that are used for the purpose. Over here I have done my SQL project on the analysis of Fortune 2000 companies. The objectives of my project is database selection and observation, overall analysis on the success of the companies and the reasons behind it, best companies by market value, top countries with company count, countries with more stability for business. Now moving on to the database, as shown here, this is the database I have used. The database has ranks, name, country, sales, profit, assets and market value. Please do make a note that every single one of the values over here for sales profit assets and market value are given in billions now then the top 10 companies globally in terms of market value are shown here as follows as the slide shows that apple has the highest numbers which is 2252.3 billion in terms of market value now what are the reasons behind their success organizational culture discipline and leadership ethics passion for growth and evolution and calculated objectives needless to say having impossible targets and objectives which does not make any sense will create confusion and delay in the growth so having objectives that can be reached is very important next passion for growth and evolution yes each and single one of these companies are successful because they have always kept on evolving into something new than what they were yesterday. Next is ethics. Ethics is an important part of any company. If a company is not ethically correct, then there is no point in having that company in the first place. Discipline and leadership. Needless to say, every great company has successful leaders, great leaders who not only lead in terms of business but in terms of discipline as well. Organizational culture, as we know, is an important part of any company as they set the tone of how a company will run, their methods, their way of working, their culture, their behavior, and every other aspect. Number of companies in each nation that made the Fortune 2000 list. As observed, United States has the highest company count. This slide, this graph shows every single nation over here that has number of companies that are in that list so United States have 590 fortune 2000 companies China in second place with 291 and Japan with 215 now moving on the total sales of company in each country as we can see United States has 13347.71 billions in terms of sales now this graph shows the sales of every single company in that specific nation for the specific year meaning every single fortune 2000 company that are situated in united states if we add up all their sales figure annual sales figure for that specific year then the value would be 13347.71 billion now the insights are focus of nation correct allocation of resources external and internal factors yes it is only possible because every single external and internal factors were assessed and analyzed by these companies in order to be successful. Focus of nation. This graph shows the focus of every nation. Now over here we can see that United States are focused on rapid expansion and development of their own nation. At the same time we must understand that these companies are successful because they have correctly allocated every single resources they have in the right place at the right time countries with highest profit yes there's a big difference between sales and profit sales is everything that these brands have sold and generated however profit is the excess amount that is left after expenses so profit is important for growth expansion and development as we can see once again United States are the leaders in terms of profit with 977.68 billion and the significance is development of nation, contribution and influence. Yes, if a company has huge amount of profits, 
then this nation where they are situated will develop in terms of economical growth at the same time contribution will be significant meaning that if they have profit then they will contribute a lot to the nation be it the society the people the lifestyle they will contribute at the same time influence big companies with big profits can influence every young individual to study hard and work hard and have a great career ahead they set the tone of how every single individual can choose the correct path and have a good career ahead and a good life ahead they change the lifestyle and influence the lifestyle this is what profit allows a company to do and as we can see united states definitely has a lot of influence on their people and their culture because of the profit that those companies are making the conclusion is stability in the economy encouraging csr cultural and social development generating employee and bringing change to the world needless to say that every successful company will bring a lot of stability to the economy of the country of origin they are, if they are have a good financial year then they will definitely encourage a lot of csr activities they will definitely help the society develop and improve generating employee is probably the biggest advantage of having a fortune 2000 company because as they expand and grow they will generate a lot of employees which is always good for a country bringing change to the world yes the long term goal of every brand over here is to bring some kind of a significant change to the world maybe they bring a trend or change a significant lifestyle matter anything for example when apple invented the ipod they brought market disruption and removed the walkman of sony and brought change to the culture it was a portable device which required no cassettes it was digital it had a digital library which was highly appreciated by the people so this is how every brand aims at bringing change to the world on a long term basis now these are the codes that i have used for my sql project which is by far the most important aspect of the project as we can see that this is the code that has been used to create a database over here then i have used the table import data wizard to import the table the csv file that was shown earlier to the sql then i have used this code to default use the database so now every single code i use will be done properly now as you can see that the first part of my presentation showed that based on that database top 10 companies buy market value so this is a code that we can use once we run it as you can see it shows the top five companies that are here in terms of market value now if we want a top 10 all we have to do is change the limit from 5 to 10 and then once we run we can get the top 10 list as you can see now if we wanted let's say not the top 10 but the bottom 10 then all we needed to do is change this code once we specifically once we change this it will show you the bottom 10 companies similarly every single code can be changed in small snippets to create a different result for example this specific code will show the total sales of all companies and here it is the total sales of all companies but it shows the top 10 so if we wanted let's say top 3 then all we needed to do is set the limiter from 10 to 3 and it will show you the top 3 nations with the highest number of sales so this concludes my sql project i would like to thank ivy professional school for guiding me in my sql project and helping me everywhere i was stuck Needless to say, many more projects I hope to do and hopefully I will share every single one of them with my audience. Thank you.